the basic free tour. The crowd is ready. They've been here almost 36 hours. The band is ready. And here they are. Well, Detroit. Damn. First of all, we just came in here. What is up with the cage? That's the Well, you know, there's usually a barricade and security guards beating up everybody and choking everybody out. So we figured we'll remove the barricade, remove the security guard, and uh, put up this sturdy structure here. That'll separate. This will be the only thing separating us from that insane floor. I guess people will just be climbing up, man. Like they got like a platform up here. It's gonna be pretty dope. I just want our fans to be able to come up here and just feel like you know it's all good. It's just a free, fun, killer thing. What made you like, come with an idea of just having a venue this small? I just wanted to take it back to where we started out, you know. Corn took us on tour, and these are, this is one of the first places we ever played with Corn. I think it's awesome. I just want to get, get more intimate. I don't know, it's just gonna just really make it like exciting, you know what I mean? We got a little mini me coming out, a little buddy of mine. No, I know exactly why you guys are all here. Cause it's free. We became friends, I hung out with him at the Playboy Mansion a couple times and he's quite the pimp. <laughs> really? Yeah. He did it all for the nookie. Fred, oh, Amy, Amy. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. Let's do it. You have a show like this. What about your fans, the ones I can't get in? Um, yeah, I know you're giving out wristbands, but what about the ones I can't get in? What's, what's going to happen to them? Well, Pokemon says that uh, everybody's going to be okay. We're going to be hanging out outside a lot, and cooking out with people, and drinking and hanging out. What kind of, what kind of stuff you got in there? You got cookies. Turkey and Swiss cheese. I'm coming back here for lunch. I guess it'll be kind of like you show up, and if you want to stay overnight or camp out, it's possible. Ready to party, ready for the concert. Because we got water sponsors, we got some pizza, we got free food and drinks for everybody. Why does this in the court? We take care of everybody, unlike a big festival we all know. <laughs> This is the... I'm just in a fan! See, this is the bad thing about the shows being free. People like this can just... Security? 
Hey, could we have someone remove this rabid tape guy? <laughs> hey, easy, easy. Let it go. Let it go, boys. <laughs> As you can see, it's kind of late. <laughs> What's your name? Your security here? My name is uh, Butch. How long have you been doing this? Um, well, ever since his biggest fan came out. Really? Yeah. And did you get paid a lot to take care of people like no, that? No, I just volunteered. Oh, really? I I'm guilty, yeah. as you can tell. And then Fred pays you out of his own pocket or uh, just out of that? Um, actually, I, I pay myself just because I want to hang on Fred. Really? All the time. Well, walk us through the, for like the next 48 hours. What's going to actually, what's that going to, what's going to happen? Tomorrow morning, uh, you know, the kids have been waiting in town. Fred's checked in with the radio stations a couple times already. Tomorrow morning at like 9 o'clock, we're going to call both stations up. Let them know that it's time to get in line. 89X, the only new rock alternative, the 9 o'clock X block. The morning X with Kelly and Dean, 939. Limp Biscuit plays a free show with Cypress Hill, sponsored by Napster, tomorrow and Wednesday. On the line, we have the man himself to give us details. Hey, Fred, what's up? What's the, 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 the dealio? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm sitting here in my bed with uh, my dog. Now, uh, last night, did, what did you do last night? I'm hearing some stories about a wild night last night. Well, last night wasn't that wild, actually. I guess, yeah, maybe it was. We had some antics going on in the hotel room. We had a little, little, little person walking around naked. You're going to earn your money right now. 30 minutes. Of being naked? Butt naked. Okay. <laughs> we had a little mini me's manager. Mini me's manager is also a, a little person? Yeah, he's a little person too. How much? This is three grand. Three grand? <laughs> to get a little person to be butt naked. <laughs> three grand. Get up on the air. Get up on the couch. Somebody play some strip music. There's the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Is he stripped? Is he stripped? <laughs> 30 minutes, dog. 30 minutes. <laughs> you gotta hang out. Dog. How do you feel? Very rich. And we uh, had one of my assistants shave his head like. Uh, an Thousand old bucks, professor. Thousand bucks. Thousand you dollars. Him. You heard him first. Shut up. Here we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give him a hug. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. You seen naked? You been to a gym before? I'm pretending I'm in a gym. <laughs> <laughs> How much did Fred say he was gonna give you? Thousand bucks. How much he was gonna give you? Three thousand. No, nah, 1500 is only half an hour. Oh, my God, man. Is this really happening? Basically, essentially, this is what I understand so far. People line up whenever you can at the State Theater for the Tulane Biscuit Shows today and tomorrow. We're going to open up live starting over at the Red Booth. Up in the Red Booth, all the way down here, the kids can sleep. We've worked it out with the uh, police chief of Detroit. It's going to assist the entire street block, blocked off bicycle rack. We're going to shut down Elizabeth Street. The whole next block, all the way back around, we can handle up to like 6,000 kids. When to start lining up, I'm not very sure. I would think about right now. So what time did you guys get here? About 2 o'clock this morning we got here. And you set up the tent and everything? Yeah. 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 There's a half dozen people already in line. Six people already there. That. What about now? <laughs> it's serious. <laughs> Hello? Hey. Hey, this is Fred. I know, this is Cheryl. Hey. Do you remember me? Hi. I gave you all those poems. You gave me all the what? Those poems. That book of poems. Poems? Poems. Poems. Oh, yeah. that's you. Do you remember? You. Yeah, what are you yeah. doing in line first? What do you think I'm doing in line first? I don't know. What are you doing I in line I love first? you guys. I love you guys. I'm obsessed. You're I obsessed? I love you guys so much. Huh? How long have you been there? How long have you been there? Uh, since about 2 o'clock last night. Since 2 o'clock in the morning? 2 a.m.? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So you're I definitely you getting in. You know that, right? Yeah, I hope so. I hope I don't get f***ed out of it. No, oh, you just stay right there and call a buddy up and have him bring down some uh, toothbrush, <laughs> I hope. No, we got safe. food, we got beer, we got everything. Oh, you got everything? We don't need nothing else. Yeah, we got everything. We got a tent, we got food. We need wristbands. You got we everything. got everything. That's amazing. Except for wristbands. Well, oh, I love you so much. I love you, too. Well, I love you so much. I'm going to hey. see you there. We're going to come down there. Well, Fred, Fred. What? What about my poems? What about your poems? What about my poems? I asked you to help me out a little bit. What do you all mean you to help you do? Become a poet? <laughs> I don't know. Help me do something. Well, you tell me. I mean, what, do you want to be a rapper? 
No, I want to. I want to be a writer. You wanna I want to be a writer. Well, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna help you right now. You are a writer and a singer. Okay. How is that helping me? How is that helping me? I just me? made it happen. You are that. You just made it happen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. I love you so much. I love you too. I love you. Oh my God. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> You're a perfect role model. You are now a poet. <laughs> you are now a singer. Well, she said she wanted to be a writer and a poet, and like, well, then you are one if you want to be one. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> but she was blessed by Fred. What time is it? Is it like six? No, it's ten. It's ten fifteen. Ten oh, twenty. Ten. Ten. It's gonna be time to go there soon. And we're riding on. We're riding to the state theater. Yeah, yeah, talk, talk. Look at that lawn chairs. They have lawn chairs out there. They got, look at that sleeping bags, cooler, Hello. lawn chairs. Hello. Tony, that line is not 60 Hello. people. I bet you hundred dollars. I feel like you're walking. You're walking by homeless people. And you don't want to disturb this them. This is the first girl in line, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. hey. You're the palm lady? I was on the palm girl. Oh, the palm girl. Sunday, baby. First, first, first. Oh, yeah. What's the deal? We've lost a lot of weight. I have? Yeah, you have. Should I gain some weight? What's up? Yeah, yeah it's a free show, right? Yeah, it's a free show. <laughs> Thank you, we love you so much. <laughs> well, there's going to be a party here tonight, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the job right it's there, Fred. Good time. Where's Fred? A hug. Can I have a hug? Like, where's okay. Wes at? Thank you. You guys are going to be out here for a long time, man. Right on. They're supporting live from the line the day before the show. We've got some diehards out here. It is five minutes until one in the afternoon. On Monday, we play tomorrow night around nine or 10. There's about 50 people out here, I'd say. Who wanted the breast implant? Fred! Hey, what's up? What's up, man? So what's the deal? Right here. <laughs> I might have to sit the stand out for a second. You need rescue breathing. <laughs> Somebody get a Yeah, story about breast implants. What's the deal? Um, she lost her breast on her ex, so she can't have to do it. Fred's got her married. Oh, she's you think she's you. Yeah, I don't understand the whole story. What's the story? Okay, I, I want breast implants, and my mom said that I can't get them, and so I asked her if I got my breast signed by Fred Durst. I said that's the only way I won't get breast implants. You don't need breast implants. No, but I, 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 I need my breast signed up. Okay. Where, where should I be signed? Because I'm not going <laughs> to... I need to get an autograph. Sign me. Okay. Where should I be signed? This is going to come off. It's okay. It'll last today, and that's all I need. What do you want me to sign yet? I guess just do the stomach. I gave up on the breast thing. Yeah, you're, you're not, not, you're not going to get breast implants, right? No, no, now I'm not. I can't believe you're touching me right now. I cannot believe you're touching me. Why? Because, oh, I just 
can't believe it. That's unbelievable. It's like, here, I want to go to this show. Look, man, Lim Bissett, Cupra. It's the name of the, uh, it's the name of our new, um... Song? Cupra. I don't think they know how to spell Cypress Hill. That's probably when in, they went in to find out, is it C-U-P-R or C-Y-P-R? Cypress Hill. Cupra Hill. Cupra's, Cupra's. Cupra's Hill. What's up, homie? How you doing? What's up, What's up? Should I go out last night? Huh? I tried to work on some more of that switch. You go out? I want to go out there. Oh, I went out to the line, yeah. Yeah, I want to go out and Good. I went out to the line. Checked it out. Nice with the clippers. Smells like uh, marijuana around here. Cypress Hills here. When we first talked about doing these shows, it, you know, the free thing hadn't even been touched. We were just like talking about, hey, let's do a show together, you know, Limp Bizkit yeah. and Cypress Hill. After a while, I guess Fred came with the idea of doing it, and uh, we were like, Shh, whatever, let's do it. You know, if the fans get in for free, that's even better. It's going to be pretty slamming, man. I think, you know, <laughs> they're going to get their money's worth. I just got an insane over here, yo, Crazy. It's 2.45 right now, and with the help of the local radio station, I'm not as wet as I was a little bit earlier. Everyone's getting soaked wet, waiting to go inside to the Limp Bizkit concert. I don't want to be the one to tell them that they have about 20, 23, 24 hours before the show actually begins. We are willing to stay all day and all night and all tomorrow just yeah, to see Freddy. We saw you guys earlier. Oh my God. You're still here, what? I have to see Freddy. I'm so in love with him. I don't want to spoil you guys' night or your day or anything, but you guys won't be getting the wristbands for another we don't care. 18 hours? It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I would wait forever for him. Man, they could at least told us it was going to be like tomorrow morning. I don't care. They're giving us free time. We called all our customers today and told them we couldn't come down because we had to go to Limp Biscuit. They asked us what Limp Biscuit was and they asked us if we were going to a food contest or something. We just told them that it was one of those things that we had to skip work for and that it wasn't going to come around again where we got this cheap of tickets. Actually, we said, F*** your lawn, we're going to Limp Biscuit, Detroit, what? Just like you. Are you going to get some sleep tonight? I'm going to try. Probably not. Not with all you cameramen around. <laughs> How does it feel to be at the front of this growing long line? Good. I'm glad I'm not in the back. Glad. So tired. I'm tired, man. It's been a long two days. Long two days. What are you talking about? He stayed here last night. We both worked together. The place we work is now closed, so we're here. That's burn as many me!
Mini me the fing mad man. Oh, funny! Well, this is my phone book, but I just want to autograph it. Do I get an offer? In case the water, you can bring him out to the right side of the... What's your name? Jennifer. I don't want to pick you up. Later on tonight. Let's do that one there for now, okay? Wes's suit that he just invented has so much uh, power going through it that it's, cre it's picking up on his guitar pickups. We put something between it, does it make a difference? Towel, just put a towel for right now to see. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. They're gonna try to insulate it with aluminum foil. I fing knew it was gonna happen. He knew it. So pissed off. <laughs> you haven't seen him pissed yet. That's not pissed. Thousands of people out there. What? Should we say hey to the thousands of people out there? Yeah, I'm just gonna try electromagnetic pickup and see if it makes any difference. Sure. Let's do it. Okay, I'll go well, we'll be in the middle of the street. Nope. I was packing a water bottle. Yeah, we got some turning here overnight. Oh, there's a thousand people out there.
seen so many asses in just like one setting right there. And they were like walking in front of me to get spread. And I was like, get your, and I'm just, I'm sorry, out of my face. Generation is definitely just wrong. flick up from just like this to counterfeit the ministry to jump around to my generation. That he's is got, like, he's got a lot of that hard is ones right in a row. Duty, man. Yeah, that's kind of tough. We're not gonna do boiler. We're gonna do my generation there. And then we're gonna do it together now with a lucky member of the audience playing doing the other man's part. <laughs> Hopefully they'll pull it off. I want to know. I want to know. If there's anybody on that crowd who knows the words to end together now. I mean, I need somebody to do Method Man's part, because he ain't here tonight. Who's it going to be, baby? You know it for sure? You really know it? All right, you right here. Black dude with the white hair. He looks kind of like Method Man. Give this motherfucker a microphone. People from Toledo, from I don't know, Canada, from Wisconsin, man, people everywhere what came down to Detroit. The Hi, my name is Josh Martin, and I'm high on. I got high off last night, and I feel like <laughs> and I, I can slap, and I'm and my back hurts. But let me get kicked ass. <laughs> We've got seven or eight thousand outside right now. We're right about to hand out wristbands. We're, you know, we're a little above our number, but it's it's awesome. Okay, this is the first batch of the wristbands. How many wristbands do you have in that box? First one, one thousand. First thousand for the tour release. First night. This is what people have been waiting in line for two days for. Yeah. Yeah. If you remove it, if it's ripped, if it's anything, you will not get in. You will not get in. Stay in line. You guys stay in line and get right in this order. Who went home and showered? We did. I did. 
We're clean. We're clean. We're clean. All right, who's the dirty one? <laughs> I'm dirty. <laughs> Let them do whatever. Just keep it flowing all the time. Nobody just standing up there. Yeah. 